That's where I want to ask you, Shannon. Like, what is your opinion? You know, being so interested into fashion, do you actually prefer fat? Like, do you appreciate fast fashion for being like for making fashion accessible to everyone, or you don't really like it? But uh, it's sort of like a compromise for you trying new trends and you know new styles in terms of clothing. This really depends on which side of the hierarchy you are. I know this sounds like weird. But um, we're talking right right now. We're talking about sustainability versus fast fashion. Fast fashion can come in like many forms. It's like lab- like you said, labor induced work. It's mass production. Um, the fact that trends are always changing, so there's just too many clothes piled up. Like all three of these factors, um, basically are a part of fast fashion. And some people take one of the factors into consideration. Some people take two. Most people have to take all three into consideration to think about how fast fashion really affects the world. But I also think this depends on, like I said, sustainability versus how unsustainable fast fashion is. Some people don't have the means to be sustainable. Sure, you uh, you can go around and say, Ayo, I'm sustainable. But you also have to think about the fact that some people don't have the means to be sustainable. For example, let's say uh, you you come from a low-income um, family. You don't have the means to be sustainable. Usually sustainable websites that, you know, sell clothes uh, range from, like, $30 to 100 bucks for a dress. Like, an example, um, there's this Instagram blogger called Emma Leger, and she just came out with uh, this collab with this fashion boutique um, called Beginning Boutique. And the dresses range from, like, ridiculous prices. A simple bodycon thigh dress was about $48. And a set of pajamas, like a pajama set, was about $120. So, of course, even if someone does want to become sustainable, they clearly don't have the means to do so. While you look at a fast fashion company, for example, like Shein, that sells clothes for, like, $4, $5, $10. You, they give you the same dress, and the only difference is the fact that it's about $10. So, of course, if you come from a low-income family, you'd rather go for the $10 dress than the $100 dress. 